Okay, so it's been two weeks since I did my lawn refresh, and this is what we've got. Oh, just kidding. That's what we've got. And we're going to show you how we did it on Dad It Yourself. Hello, hello, hello. It has been two weeks since I did my lawn refresh. And as you can see, look at that. Look at that green coming out. It's getting a little long. It needs to be mowed again. So it's a little higher than I would like it to be. So I'm gonna raise that mower up so I can follow the no more than one third rule. And we'll see if we have any areas that need to be treated some more. And I'm definitely gonna get out the herbicides and deal with what's going on in here. So before I get the mower started, let's just look at this grass real quick to see what we got going on. So I still got a little poa right here. And then if you look across, it's kind of hard, maybe you can see it. Um, I'm starting to get a lot of seed heads. So that's another indication I need to get this thing mowed. And then some of my spots where the moss was, they're starting to come back, but not as good as I thought. There's some, definitely some new sprouts in there but it's probably gonna be a couple more weeks before this starts really filling in. But overall, it looks really good. But once we get it mowed, we're gonna see where it needs some more attention. Oh, I almost forgot to show you guys. Remember that spot that I overseeded? You can see I got some really good growth in there. Not so much right in here. You can still see the seeds. What that tells me is this not getting enough water. So I'm gonna to have to adjust the sprinklers to get a little bit more water over here, but that looks really good. <laughs> so there's the front yard I mowed in a diagonal pattern because I like to alternate and it looks really good look at that all the way down to my neighbor's yard which you saw earlier and the front here and I've done the side stripe here and I've actually done the part over on the other side of the truck and that was only about a bag and a half and that looks really good I got a couple of dry spots still but I think that's some, some more watering and some more time and that's gonna look really good and I don't know can you guys see that there's a light green stripe right there I think I may have missed my application of my iron but it is what it is so this is a little bit taller than I like it um, I want to bring it back down but as it gets warmer I like a taller grass so we'll see how this looks in about two weeks let me know down in the comments what you guys think if this is a good height for you or you think I should go shorter or let it grow taller all right let's go check out the backyard well here's the backyard haven't mowed it yet and it looks pretty good um, got something going here we're gonna treat that here in a minute right there and then my nemesis which is foxtail horse hair horsetail you guys tell me um i'm gonna spray that but it's probably not gonna kill it i've got a buddy of mine that does more commercial grade um treatments on lawns and he'll come treat my lawn this week hopefully we can kill the stuff off that's made it out here into the bed of the lawn but it looks good we're gonna look over here at that dead spot I have over here. And that looks like it's got some good seedlings growing up too. So fortunately we're cutting higher than the ceilings, so nothing will happen there. Well, let's get this mowed.
So here's the backyard and the camera fell. I don't know if you guys caught that or not, but it did fall. And look, got another one of them yellow stripes again. So man, I need to get better at my application. So let's go ahead and start treating some of this stuff and that stuff over there. And how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna do it with that stuff. How's that for a camera angle, huh? Okay, so Roundup. People hate Roundup. I don't care. I like Roundup. It works. I use this stuff. Kills weeds. Won't harm the lawn. So this is lawn safe. I will use this for anywhere in the lawn where I see something I don't want there. Whether it be a clover, a crabgrass, anything like that. And if for some reason you use this one in your lawn, and we'll talk about that in a second, I have a video, and I'll link it down in the description, how you can recover your lawn after you use this product in your lawn. And what is this product? This is weed and grass killer. This will kill anything that's living that it touches. Some people say humans, but definitely not humans. But this will work on just about anything in your hardscapes, planting beds, sidewalks, all that kind of stuff. Do not use this on your lawn. Well, there she is. Two weeks of growing. She's been treated and everything looks good. I'll be back here in three to five days probably to bring it down a little bit more, but we'll just have to see how it goes. I didn't edge the front because I'll, again, I'll be back here in three to five days. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about anything I've done in these videos, please put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit that bell for notifications. If I've done anything in this video that you found helpful, consider becoming a channel member or giving me a super thanks. I'll have some videos that you may be interested in, but here's some beauty shots of the lawns.